What's cracking everybody, Ralph here, and today I want to talk about how you do a time lapse on the Ronin RS2 gimbal, and it's pretty, it's pretty special. <laughs> Just not working. Gosh. Oh, it's so good. If you're new here, I'd love you to subscribe and like this video. And there's videos that come out every Tuesday, every Saturday morning for your creative um, juices to get flowing. And if you want to be part of the creative crew, well, you can shout me a coffee, you can do a number of things, you can buy some of my merch, or you can just subscribe. Any of those would be amazing. Now, there's a time-lapse function on this gimbal that I'm going to talk about, and then I'm going to share a little bit of a story about how it all works. Are you ready for it? Whew, it's going to be sweet. All right. When we're all balanced and ready to go, we turn on the gimbal. I oh, know, very exciting, right? Now, here's what you have to remember as we do this. So before you turn the gimbal on, once the camera's plugged in, you have all your settings dialed in. So if you're shooting Astro, you obviously have a large ISO, you have a long shutter speed, and you have a low aperture. But if you're shooting something in the daylight, you want to expose for the correct result. But you have it all dialed in. Your camera is ready to go before you turn the uh, Ronin on. Then you turn the Ronin on, and you have this screen. This screen means... Oh, the... Oh... This screen means, the green means it's um, cal it's calibrated, it's balanced really well, and you can fine tune here. But what we want to do is swipe this way, and that gives you the time-lapse function. We got the time-lapse function. Let me talk to you through this. The time-lapse works by your gimbal taking the photograph. So your gimbal tells the camera we're going to shoot now. So if you have an exposure, a shutter length of 20 seconds on your camera, you don't want to set this for 20 seconds because that means every 20 seconds the camera is going to shoot, which is in line with the camera, but you have no time for the gimbal to move. And so you could go 21 seconds, but if you go 21 seconds, there's still going to be shake in the gimbal as it moves to reposition for the next shot because it goes boom, 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 or wherever you choose for it to go. So I usually go two seconds greater than your exposure time. That gives the, the Ronin, it goes, all right, we're going to shoot here, shoot camera, and then it counts 22 seconds and it moves and it shoots again. So I go 22 seconds and the Ronin goes shoot, waits for 22 seconds and then shoots again as it changes position. Your camera goes, oh, I've been told to shoot and it opens its exposure for 20 seconds. Do you understand? It's pretty straightforward. And then you have to choose how long you're going to do this shot for. And so you can do all the way up to 180 minutes. That's three hours. Woo, that's a long time if you do an Astro to be out in the cold and the dark. So you go, yep, I'm happy with that. Then you go back to time lapse and you have your 22 second setting. You have your 180 and the frames per second, this 24 to 48, it doesn't make any difference. So you do that in post anyway. Then you go to next and you have to choose a waypoint. Now the way to choose a waypoint is you position your camera where you want your very first shot to be. And you might say, oh, and it's just there. And of course, you don't know what the shot's going to be like because if you do an astro, it's the middle of the night, you can't see anything. So what you do is you then take a shot with your camera and you wait and it comes up and you're like, I'm happy with that composition or I'm not. And then I'll change it using the joystick. I'll change it and I'll alter it. I'll go a bit higher and a bit to the left and that's bang on what I want. And you'll take another shot and you'll be like, yes, that's that's the one I want. And you will enter this in. You'll go plus one. And then you'll go to your second waypoint, which might be across the, the horizon as the Milky Way sets in three hours time because you've used photo pills to track when the Milky Way rises. And then you've used photo pills to track when the Milky Way sets. And once you're good and you think, yep, that's a pretty good guess of where we're going to go, you enter second waypoint. And then, ha, then the excitement starts. And it says 490 photos later, you will have your time time lapse, providing you don't muck about with the camera. Don't touch the camera while it's still going. So story time, folks. Uh, a couple of months ago, shortly after getting this gimbal, I thought it would be a wonderful idea to, it was literally two nights later, to go out into the dark and try the time lapse feature for an astro shoot. Now I can take I can take Astro shots, I can take Star Trails, I can take Milky Way shots, but I've never ever tried to ever do a time lapse on a gimbal or set up a gimbal in the dark or take a gimbal down the beach or 
put all those things together. So that's what I did. It was uh, late at night. It was about nine o'clock kickoff. Got there and got all set up. I balanced my tripod first. So the tripod's on the sand. I balanced the tripod. So the tripod was dead center with the horizon. I'll put a video at the end of how I did that. Then I put the, use the quarter 20 inch on top of the ball head that was all balanced on top of my tripod. So this was good to go. It's only a kilo, so it wasn't too much of a stress. I then dialed in my camera settings. So with Astro, you have a high ISO, you have a really wide open, low numbered aperture, and then you have a long exposure. And so I was happy with that. I was shooting about 15 seconds, which meant I sent 20, uh, 17 seconds on this. I was ready to go. And I then positioned where I wanted to, to, to go. And because it's dark, you can't see anything. So I looked and guessed, and I have photo pills just hanging here. And I'm thinking, I think that's about right. And I took a test shot and went, that's good. And so I dialed in the first, and then I moved the camera and swung it all around and then looked at the ambient light coming out of the city and where I sort of wanted it to start and stop because if you're exposing for the stars you're going to blow out which means make too bright any of the detail in the city so you couldn't go into the city and I took a shot where that was and I lined up these waypoints and I, I went for it. Now I discovered that if this cable isn't clearly in you can waste half an hour and have to reset and do it all over again and if you're hanging out with a bunch of creatives who are like let's flash some torches around you have that issue too so ideally this would be pitch black and you'd just be able to, to bang it but I hang with the disaster photo crew so the disaster is imminent. Anyway you want to see what I got? If you want to see what I got give it the thumbs up Hang around two seconds and well, here it is. Thanks for watching. How was that? Put it in the comments below. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, shout us a coffee, and I'll see ya in the next video.